This is Green Janine with Toss50.com, the other side of 50. And I'm here today with eight-year-old Aaron, who is very passionate about the monarch butterfly. And so he's going to tell us about them. Aaron, what is so special about the monarch butterfly? Well, the monarch butterfly, it's the only butterfly or insect that tr migrates to Mexico. Do other butterflies migrate? No, no other butterfly. And this is just a little map. It starts out as here, Mexico, and it comes up to the northeast of the United States. Aaron, I understand you're concerned about the migration. Can you tell us about that? Um, well, there is not much milkweed left in the world, so um, the monarch butterflies only lay their eggs on milkweed, so if there's no more milkweed left, the butterflies don't have a chance to lay their eggs. So, um, there are less butterflies each and every year because there is less milkweed each and every year. Why does it only lay its eggs on milkweed? Because the milkweed makes the, the caterpillars poisonous, so when they turn into one of these things, a one of those chrysalises, they, when they, when they come out and they turn into a monarch butterfly, they are poisonous. So when a bird tastes them or it gets stuck in a spider web, you just let it go because they know this is not my favorite dinner. I do not want to have this because I do not want to die. Um, caterpillars in there right now? Yes, there was one right there. Yeah, there's one under that leaf or no one there. If you could say it's shaped like a letter J, that caterpillar, in one to two days, maybe it might do it uh, tomorrow or the next day, it might make its chrysalis. And I see that this one right here above it is crawling around and actually, let's see if we can show how he's munching on those milkweed leaves right now. There we go. Get him eating away. He really wants to be poisonous. He looks just like the very hungry caterpillar from the book. You said you had some chrysalis up here? Yeah, we have two. Those are the green ones. The other empty ones, we had monarchs um, already hatch out of them. So if you want to help and save the monarch butterflies, you can plant milkweed in your backyard. Right, before we go, I see that you have something in your lap there. What is that? Here is a monarch butterfly. Just in case you did not know what I look like, I am a monarch butterfly. Bye! Bye-bye! Here is Aaron, like the butterfly whisperer, releasing his butterflies into the wild. How does it feel, Aaron, to release your butterflies? It feels a little sad and a little grateful that we are helping the monarch, the monarch's population grow. These are the three monarch butterflies that we had in these chrysalis. And um, they are now monarch butterflies. They started off as an egg. They started, and then they get, went into a larva. Then they went into a chrysalis. And now they're one of these beautiful monarch butterflies.